Good morning, everybody. Blaine Austin here at Sewing Machines Plus. Hey, and I'm in a different setting. As y'all can see, I'm actually at the classroom in the San Marcos retail store today because I had to have some room to do some demos. But hey, guys, uh, welcome to the show. We're so happy you're here. Guys, we've got a really cool show for you today. Uh, Tom Oric, the CEO of David Vacuums, was going to be in our studio today, but he came down with the flu. So guess who gets to do all the demos today, Roger? Yeah. Yours truly. <laughs> but Tom is going to join us from his home in North Carolina. He's going to come on air with us and, and talk a little bit about the vacuums and, and things. But guys, we're going to talk about the David Vacuum today. And we're also going to talk about the Houdini, which is a mop. And it is like a Swiffer on steroids. This thing is awesome. We're going to demonstrate that and show you all about it. But before we get too deep in here, I got to say some shout outs to, hey, we got Penny Carter from Temecula watching today. Chris Perry from Florida. We got Sherry, uh, Sherry uh, Hybe, Hickby, is that right? From Oklahoma, Laurie Scott or Lauren Scott from Wyoming. Kathy Fuller from Tennessee. Uh, Deneen Cotton from Illinois. Joe Allen from Nebraska. And we have uh, Sylvia Cortez watching from Texas. So Welcome to the show, everybody. Hey, and if you're new, this is the first time you've ever seen our show, put a number one in the chat right now because the SMP Nation is going to make you feel very welcome and tell us where you're watching from. Uh, we'd, love to, we'd love to see new, when new people are here. But guys, before we get into the vacuums today, i got to remind you about some, some dates of things that are going to happen. Make sure, uh, you know, y'all write these down because these are some great shows we have coming up. So in uh, November the 28th, we have our Cyber Monday show. You don't want to miss that. Uh, it is going to be an all-day show. We're going to stream seven and a half hours. We have 31 different presentations we're going to have. Every 15 minutes, we're going to have a different product for you. We got some new things that you're going to get to see. Uh, we got some great presenters you're going to love. And so that's going to be a great show. That's going to be, and we got great specials. Kyle and I have been working behind the scenes to get some really good specials for you. Uh, we're going to have that. And then on December the 12th through the 16th is our countdown to Christmas show. And again, it's going to be five days that we're going to stream every day, uh, all day long. And guess who's going to help me host, guys? Ooh. I have got Jane Klaus is actually going to help host both shows. Nice. So Jane's going to be here on November the 28th, uh, Cyber Monday, going to help me co-host that. And then she's going to come back for the whole week in uh, December the 12th through the 16th for, for countdown to Christmas. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I got to say a big shout out to my wife, Michelle. She is her birthday. This is her birthday weekend. So happy birthday to her. And guess who also has a birthday? Kicking It Kennedy has her birthday on Cyber Monday. So uh, she's going to have her birthday. So uh, it's birthday celebrations all around. So uh, anyway, uh, glad you all joined here today. Um, again, if you want to uh, win some prizes that we give away, we're going to give some prizes away today at the end of the show. And how you do that, if y'all haven't liked our YouTube page, go like it right now. And, and if you haven't, you know, subscribe to it. If you haven't liked our Facebook page, go like it. If you share uh, the video today, if you share the content, if you go like the videos uh, and make comments and ask questions, uh, it'll actually help enter you to win. And then we'll draw randomly uh, some winners this afternoon uh, or this later today. And again, uh, you know, one of the things I always tell y'all to do is make sure um, after the video, if you want to have the second chance drawing after the video is posted today, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, or you can do both, uh, you know, sometime this afternoon later, uh, once that video, the show's over, the video posts, you can go make comments in that area. And we actually give a second chance drawing just from the comments under the video on Facebook and YouTube. So make sure y'all get to go do that as well. All right. So guys. We're going to get right into the show today because I tell you, we've got a lot to cover. Uh, but before I do that, I want to tell you about next week's show. Y'all don't want to miss next week's show. We're going to talk all about that Stay Perfect two-tier table. And this is a table that's made just for Sewing Machines Plus. We're going to talk a little bit about that. we got some really cool things that we're going to show you how we use it. And then we're going to have some good specials on it. So you don't want to miss that show. I'm going to have Deb Donovan in. She's going to do some demonstrations with it and show you how it works with the machines. And uh, so we've got a great show lined up for you for that as well. So make sure y'all tune in next Thursday for that. And then Kennedy, well, who do we have on Takeover Tuesday next week? So we have Quilters Paradise is going to be in the in the house on Kennedy's show next Tuesday for the Takeover Tuesday show. So don't miss that. 
Both shows are at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Central time, so you don't want to miss that, okay? All right, guys, we are going to show a video real quick of Tom Oric basically telling you how the David uh, vacuum came about, and then guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump right in. We've got a big demonstration floor set up. I'm going to get over here and demonstrate these vacuums for you and that Houdini mop and show you all about them. So let's roll that video, Kennedy. Hi, I'm Tom Oreck. My father pioneered the concept of lightweight, powerful vacuum cleaners. And now, to honor him, I'm introducing David, the next generation of vacuum cleaners. They're extremely durable, powerful, and lightweight and easy to use. Like the Cord Free Everywhere that cleans at full power for over one hour on a single battery charge. It's the most effective Cord Free vacuum on the market today. And the T21 that's built to last at least 21 years. It even comes with 21 free annual tune-ups so you know it will always run like new. And since it only weighs nine pounds, it's easy to carry up and downstairs, and it's a breeze to clean up even the toughest messes. David is the next generation of durable, lightweight, and powerful vacuums, built in America and built to last. I invite you to try my new David vacuum risk-free for 30 days. Just shop online at davidproducts.com or take a test drive at your local David's vacuum store. If you don't love it, you don't keep it. All right, guys, you heard it right there from, from Tom Oric himself. I don't know what's going on, Kennedy. <laughs> oh, there we go. So I hope y'all can hear me. But anyway, guys, that was Tom Oric, and uh, we're going to talk to him just in, a, in here in a little bit after we show the demo. But what I'm standing right in front of right now, this is the David Everywhere vacuum. And what makes it everywhere? It doesn't have a cord. This is 100% cordless, and it is awesome, guys. So one of the things I'll talk a little bit about this, uh, this vacuum cleaner, uh, it only weighs 13 pounds because, you know, it's going to weigh a little bit more because of the battery on it. But guys, this thing, even at 13 pounds, is so lightweight. It's, it's incredible. So one of the things I wanted to talk a little bit about this vacuum, and Roger's probably going to zoom in a little bit right here so we can get a good shot of that. So uh, one of the things about the vacuum that really makes this good is basically, you know, you start out with a brush roll. You have to have a really good brush roll in vacuum cleaners. And Roger can probably see that it's kind of got that helix design on it. And what makes this thing pick up so good is just because of the design of the, uh, the brush roll. It's a, it's a metal brush roll. And the great thing about this is when it's grooming your carpet, it's basically going in, grabbing the nap of that carpet, and it's grooming each individual fiber of the carpet. That's what makes it clean so well. And the other thing it does is when you are vacuuming, it's going to basically cause a little bit of a vibration to the carpet. And that's what helps get the brush row and the vibration actually help get things airborne. And then the, uh, the airflow from there is going to pick it up and goes right in the bag. So that's what, what makes it really good. It also has a little squeegee right here on the back. And I'll tilt that forward so you might can see that a little squeegee right here. And what that's for is for bare floors. So when you're doing your bare floors and you're hitting that dirt and debris, it doesn't let it kick it back under the vacuum. Y'all have probably seen that with your own vacuums at home before. This thing has six anti-marring wheels on it to help it glide across your carpet and your hardwood floors. And that's what I love about this thing. It is just, it is, I mean, it's awesome. It's almost like it's self-propelled, but it's really not. It's just the brush row pulling it. And then guys, we get to, we can talk a little bit about the motor in it. And I want to explain something to everybody about vacuum cleaners. And, you know, you can go to what they call a dirty air vacuum cleaner or a clean air. And what is unique about, uh, you know, this is this is a, what they call a dirty air vacuum cleaner. And the dirty air vacuum cleaner is basically means that that motor is real down close to the, the surface and that the, the, the dirt that it's picking up goes through the fan and it, then it goes up through, you know, the bag, up, you know, goes through the top of the bag and drops in from a top fill bag. And what makes that really clean better, if y'all can imagine, if you had a, a, a motor sitting back here that's sucking air, but it's having to suck the air from a hose or from a head and go through the bag and it pulls the debris in and the bag catches it. You have to have a bigger motor to get enough suction to do that and to make that work. Now, what the disadvantage of that is, it makes the vacuum heavy because you have to have a lot bigger motor in it to be able to do that. These vacuums, a dirty air vacuum, the reason it's lightweight is because we can use a smaller motor and have that fan real close to the surface 
So it brings that dirt and debris in really easy. So that's a really good thing about this. And that's what keeps this upright so lightweight. The other thing I love about this is it, it's got a top fill bag. So it's going to come, the dirt's going to come up the tube, drop into the bag in the top. And what makes that so cool, I'll show you all this bag real quick. Look at the size of the bag. So if you ask, well, I don't want a bag. I want a, a canister that has a uh, dump tray. Well, I'm going to tell you the reason I love bags. Do y'all, anybody at home right now that's watching, do y'all put trash can liners or trash bags in your trash cans? Kyle, Roger, do you? Yeah, do. Kennedy, do you? Mm -hmm. Well, why do y'all do that? Uh, to keep the sides or keep it, keep it clean. Inside the right. So you want to keep the inside of that trash can clean and sanitized, right? Sanitary. Well, that's exactly what a vacuum, a vacuum bag does. A vacuum bag basically keeps the inside of your vacuum clean. And then you can take the dirt and debris out and this seals itself. So when you pull the bag out, it automatically seals the bag. Uh, and then it doesn't let the dirt escape. And then you can just go put it in the trash. If you have a, uh, you know, a, a dirt bin on a vacuum, when you go to pour it out in the trash can, all that stuff you just worked hard to get, uh, you know, vacuumed up goes up in the air. Now you're breathing it. Yeah, it does. It goes up in your face, as Kyle said. So that's one. And then it's all inside that dump tray, you know, that dump bin. You always are having to clean that out. So that's why I love bags. You know, you work hard to get the dirt in your vacuum. So why do you not want to keep it in a bag where you can dispose of it? So, and this is a large bag. I mean, this, this thing will hold a lot of debris. So that's what one great thing about this upright. The other great thing about this, if you look at Roger, zoom in here, this bag basically works as a giant bumper. So you can actually go up against furniture and things, and it's not going to have to worry about, you know, skinning it or knocking it up as some of the hard covers out there do. This is a very soft bag. And uh, again, and it just looks good, doesn't it guys? <laughs> So it's really easy to change a bag too. You just unzip this open and it's got a little tray in there. You can just slide the bag in and, and it, you know, just fits right in. There's only one way to put it on. So that's really easy. The other thing that, that I like about this and I, you know, and, and again, if when you get uh, my age and a little older, you start having, you know, arthritis, you start having problems with arms and shoulders and, and hands and all kinds of things. The way this handle design on this thing, it's just like you're shaking hands with somebody. So it's extremely a natural position for your arm and hand and, and elbow and shoulder and everything. So it's just, you know, you can look at it. I'm just like I'm shaking somebody's hand. So if I'm wanting to pull the backing back, I can just do it with my fingertips. If I want to push it forward, I can use the palm of my hand. So when I'm like I'm shaking somebody's hand, it's extremely natural and it doesn't put any, do, any undue stress on my arm. So that's what's awesome. The other thing, Roger, if you can uh, zoom in right down here at the bottom, the uh, the head, you know, what they call the detent on this is a foot release. You just release it back and it lets the handle drop down. So it's extremely, you know, uh, easy to do. And the other great thing, Roger, this thing, if you can do, it will fold all the way down flat so you can get it under your couches, your beds, all those good things. And it has an extremely low profile head. So that way you can get it under things as well. So that's a really cool thing about this. And it has LED headlights on it. So everybody's like, why do I have headlights on a vacuum? I don't want to vacuum in the dark. Well, the reason you have headlights is it makes you able to see things you don't want to vacuum up. So you know, let's just say you're under the bed and you, you know, if you, if you're vacuuming because it's dark under there, you might not see a sock and you don't want to suck up a sock. So that's one thing about vacuum cleaners. You want to make sure when you're, we're using them is anything that you can see on the ground that you could just pick up. that's large, just pick it up uh, because you don't want to, you know, damage the vacuum and you don't want to suck something up like a sock or things. But guys, we're going to, to, uh, I'm going to demonstrate this for you now and I'm going to show you how awesome this is. And you know, I told uh, Roger and Kyle and Kennedy this morning, I said, I'm going to show y'all how I can make Rice Krispies dance. And everybody's like, what are you talking about? I said, well, you'll just have to wait and let me show you. So guys, if Roger, if you could zoom in, we've made a big old mess down here. And I think Kyle's got a mobile camera too that we can probably really get close up if we need to. But so one side you can see is cat hair and the other side are Rice Krispies. And just to show y'all, this is not a gimmick. I went in and stumped these Rice Krispies to really get them in the, in the carpet, okay? So 
that way they're ground in, it's gonna show you. So I'm gonna pop this down and we're gonna turn this on and I'm gonna show, zoom in Roger, and we're gonna show them how they can, they can, you know, the Rice Krispies can dance. And the other thing is awesome about this is guys, this thing is so quiet. Listen to this. I'm talking over it right now. I can already see the Rice Krispies dancing. Look at that. Now what's causing that is that brush row and suction working together is creating the dirt and debris in your carpet to, to start moving. And what the idea to clean is you got to get it airborne so that vacuum will suck it in. So that's why good suction and a good brush row is important. But look at that dancing. So we're going to make a pass. Look at that. That is pretty good, guys. All right, so y'all ready to do some cat hair? All right, so hey, y'all comment right now if you've got a cat or dog at home that sheds a lot, you're gonna really relate to this because uh, we've got a dog that sheds a lot and there's always hair around our house. And uh, this is, so I want y'all to watch th this how it does cat hair. Look at this. Pretty much one pass, look at that. Let me get this out of the way. All right, so guys, that's pretty impressive. All right, so let me know what y'all think about that. That, you know, I am so excited about this vacuum cleaner because, you know, not only is it battery, I, that's the thing, you know, I hate most about vacuum is the cord. How many of y'all run over a cord before? <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've run over, you know, sucked my cord up and, and the brush row got it and tore the cord up. You know, they teach you to put it over your, your shoulder and, and hold it with this hand so it doesn't ever get caught. Well, now that has gone away. Now you have a cord-free vacuum, and this thing, guys, will run up to an hour on one charge, and that's what's awesome. So the charger's going to come with it. Uh, you're going to get a bag that's already inside. going to come in with it when you get those. And again, you're going to be ready to vacuum. As soon as you get the, at home, you can probably be charged up, but I'd go ahead and charge it up and let it charge overnight and then it's ready to use. But uh, great vacuum guys. I can't you know, even tell you how much I'm excited about this and how much I like it because uh, I promise you, I'm gonna have one of these at my house now. And uh, we've got these, they're, they're actually coming in tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna be shipping them out tomorrow, the orders we get in today. So, and they're limited guys. We have a limited number of these this first run. So if you need a vacuum cleaner, this is going to be the vacuum cleaner I would recommend. I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely love this. And guys, not only is it a great price, it is, we have some financing available to you as well. So it is American made. You are exactly right, Devin, American made vacuum cleaner. And uh, you don't see that too much anymore. <laughs> so American made vacuum cleaner, the David vacuum guys, I am, I'm just awesome. I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Hey, yes. Let's do the Rice Krispies again. One thing we should point out is that when you turned it on and the Rice Krispies started dancing, you didn't even have to move it towards the Rice Krispies. It was Krispies. sucking them up. It was, it it was sucking them. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Th we'll do some more. Let me th put some more Rice Krispies down and uh, we'll throw some more on the floor. All right, so let me stomp these in too a little bit to make, make sure everybody knows that they're ground in. Okay, so let's turn this on again. We'll see what Roger's talking about. So Roger's gonna zoom in. Let's turn this on. So as y'all can see, you, that's a good, good catch, Roger, that you saw that, that it's actually pulling in before I even get there. So you can see how it's just making, I mean, it's backing in those Rice Krispies right there without me even moving it up. I'll move it up a little bit more. Look at that. So this is on carpet, guys. And it's not like I just threw them. I actually stepped on them and smashed them a little bit. So.
I am so impressed with this. And I tell you, I'm impressed with the, just the noise. This thing is so quiet. You know, most vacuum cleaners are extremely loud. This thing is so quiet. And, uh, you know, so you could actually vacuum with a baby in the next, you know, in the same room. And I don't think you'd wake it up. It, it's, it's pretty incredible. So, but anyway, guys, uh, great offer today. We're going to have this for $899. And what is awesome about that, we got some financing available if you need to make some low monthly payments. But hey, here's the great thing about it. Guess what, guys? Not only are you going to get this great upright, we're going to throw in the Firefly canister, $200 canister. I'm going to throw it in absolutely free today that you get with it. And so let me talk a little bit about this canister. So uh, guys, this thing is five pounds. It's extremely lightweight. It has a little tool caddy on the back. So if Roger, you can zoom in and get that. It's got the tool caddy here. So you're going to have your different type of brushes. I don't know if everybody can see that or not. Oh, there we go. So dark. And you have your crevice tool all your different things. You have your dusting brush. You're going to have your upholstery brush that comes with it. You're going to have a couple other do different tools. Now, one thing I'm going to show you that's kind of cool. This is called a 90 degree. Let me get it where y'all can see it. This is called a 90 degree swivel tool that comes with this. And what this is for, let's just say that I put a dusting brush on it. Okay. And I can swivel this. So now y'all can see the fig configuration. Let me get where you can see that. The configuration, if I put my wand on this, now I can go up and I can do ceiling fans on the top of ceiling fans really easy. So it makes it to where you can get in those very hard to reach places uh, that you need a, an angle. And you could even put the crevice tool on this and get under like if you wanted to do, you know, under a refrigerator. If you want to do on top of your refrigerator, you could do this. So that's really cool, that, that tool that comes with it. So you're getting quite a few tools. The other thing that's cool about this is you get another little tool. I'm going to try to get out of the way so y'all can see it. That goes in the very back. And this is the exhaust port on the vacuum cleaner. So the exhaust port is right here. Let me get that thing in there. And you could put a crevice tool on here. And now, guess what, Roger? I have a blower. So it not only is a vacuum, it's a blower. And I tell you, you can use these to even air up things if you want to air up because it comes with a micro tool kit as well. Now, I got to show you all this. This is the sewer's. Oh, man, I just dumped this Rice Krispies. Um, this is the sewer's uh, dream set right here. So if you've been wanting to clean and work on your sewing machine and, and get it clean in your bobbin case, this is a little brush. This actually hooks to the vacuum cleaner and it has micro tools. So these micro tools are so you can go in and dust for, you know, your sewing machine. It has a little crevice tool uh, right here that's on it and an extension one. So if you wanted to put the extension one on here, now you have an extension one with a crevice tool. Let me get where y'all can see it a little better. There you go. So it has a little mini crevice tool. So if you wanted to blow up an air mattress, you could take, put this on the blower side of it, use these little things and just stick it in an air mattress and blow it up too. You can do so many things. And these are fantastic for your car. So if you wanted to go uh, and you know clean your car out, it is so awesome. This thing, it also has a 30 foot cord. So this is a plug-in, this is not a battery. This one's you have to plug in, but it has a 30 foot cord on it. And one of the things I always like to show people when you're doing, what I call your edging around your house. And I'm going to take the wand off real quick so it's a little easier. A lot of people think you've got to hold this, okay? You've got to hold this in your hand. But this thing is actually designed to be hands-free. And, you know, it's got a shoulder strap. But a lot of people think just put it on your shoulder. Well, that's not a good idea either because it could fall off. But what you can do is do it cross shoulder like this. And now it is completely hands-free. You can be working, doing things and not have to worry about the vacuum falling off. So that's what's awesome. And then when you put your tools on it, it comes with a really nice floor tool as well. So Roger, I don't know if you can zoom in and see this or not. But y'all can see the floor tool. The floor tool actually has, it's made for bare floors and it's also has some flip up brushes that you flip it up and now you can do it for hard floors, surfaces, wood floors, and then you fold them down, you can do it on carpet or area rugs. 
So that, that's when you float it down. Uh, but anyway, if you have, let's just say that you wanted to clean your ceiling fans or the corner of your house, I mean your uh, corners up in the on the walls, you can put all this together with a wand and go around and do it. And guys, this thing has, I can't really, Roger, I don't know which way I need to do to show, but you can reach up to 10 feet uh, high in your house to uh, clean. So that's what's pretty awesome about this. And then if you don't need that extension, you know, you can always just take them off and put them on. And again, guys, how these work too, it's called friction lock uh, accessories. And what friction lock means is when you put it on and push it in and turn it a quarter turn and it locks it on so you can't sling it off. So that's what friction lock is. So all the tools on this are all friction lock. Quarter turn and then you just pop them right off. Got it? All right. So this is coming absolutely free to y'all. It's a $200 vacuum and we're going to give it absolutely free today with the upright. So that's a pretty good deal. Hey, yes. Uh, I like the fact that it's got a strap on there. And since you're putting it on your shoulders, how much does that thing weigh? Weighs five pounds. Wow. It's extreme. Really it's extremely lightweight. Now, when y'all heard me talk earlier about a dirty air or a clean air vacuum, this is what they call a clean air vacuum. Now, what it does, the motor's in the back, and it's going to be pulling air through the hose, and it pulls the air, it goes through the bag, and it catches the debris in that bag, and then the rest of the air goes out the exhaust port. So what you want to do, if you want to use it as a blower, you just take the bag, take this front piece off, you can take the bag completely off and, or out of it, and then you're getting the maximum airflow coming in, and it'll really make it a really good blower. So like you, get, like you said... I know people that with these, they use them to blow off the water off their cars after they wash their cars and so they don't get water, water spots. It makes it really easy. So there's a lot of uses for it, especially for your cars that are around the house. So, all right. So right now, guys, anybody's got any questions, y'all stop chatting with your chats in a second. And if you got a question about the either the David Upright or the canister, go ahead and ask them right now. And uh, I'll try to answer them for you. Yep. When you turn that on, how easy is it to push? It pretty much goes on its own. Yeah, it's almost like it's self-propelled. So I, I think Denise has a question. She goes, how can you get the little one on your own? Yes, Denise, I think it's it's on our website right now for $199. Isn't that right, Kyle? <clears throat> the little one? Currently, I believe, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think you can get it for $199, Denise. So if you want that, just call in. Uh, 800-401-8151. These are limited as well. So guys, we've got a very limited run. They're coming in tomorrow on a, on a, on a truck. So we're going to have very limited. So if you want one of these, get on it today because I don't know when our second shipment's coming. But guys, you want to make sure that if you want one of these vacuums, get on it today. Uh, the combo, it's, it's $8.99. We're going to throw in the canister absolutely free. This is a $200 canister. You're going to get the upright and the canister. We have the financing available for you too. So give us a call at 800-401-8151. If you want to try to, you know, work the work the financing out with uh, Nick's team over there to get those low monthly payments. But I promise you, you're not going to regret it. And our policy is on this. If you don't love it, you don't keep it. How's that? So if you don't love this vacuum when you get it, you can send it back. Uh, I, I know you're going to love it because I, I mean, I'm telling you, <clears throat> I used to sell vacuum cleaners, guys. I was uh, with a vacuum cleaner corporation for 10 years. And uh, I've seen about every vacuum out there. And I'm telling you, uh, I'm excited about this one. And this is just the next generation of vacuums out there. I mean, you know, you want to have one that's cordless battery. It's so much more convenient, um, you know, to vacuum. And you don't have to be, you know, restricted by a cord. And uh, again, it's lightweight. So if you have an upstairs in your house, it's extremely easy just to grab the carry handle and run up the stairs and do it. And even if you wanted to do the steps, you could do it. But that's what this comes in handy, the little... Uh, Firefly canister, you can actually use that to do all your steps and, and edging around the house, you know, window sills, all things. You could even uh, do a poster. You can do drapes with the, the brushes that come with it. So it's really good. So is that another question coming in? How many bags? It comes with the upright comes with one bag and the canister comes with two. And then we have the bags. You get a six pack of bags you can buy uh, to add with it if you need to get some extra bags. And we're going to have uh, the bags. Uh, we'll carry both bags for the the Firefly and the Everywhere Cordless. <clears throat> Can you turn off the brush roller on the upright for bare floors? No, you can't and you don't need to. So the one thing about this, it's not going to scratch your bare floors. It's running at a RPMs that's not going to scratch your wood floors or any kind of floors. And it's got those six wheels 
that keeps the head at the perfect height so it does a really good job of cleaning. So great question, Lady Fair. So what's the next question there, Kennedy? Okay, uh, Leslie, the vacuum here weighs 13 pounds. So, and what makes, I mean, if you took the battery off, it's extremely lightweight, but the battery adds a little bit of weight to it. Uh, you're probably gonna get this thing, it's, the battery probably weighs a little over two pounds by itself, uh, but again, it's still lightweight. I mean, I'm picking it up with one finger, look at that. I mean, it's so lightweight. And so, you know, that's the thing. Hey, you know, that's one thing, oh my gosh, she, she just, Noreen, I'm gonna tell you exactly about the threads. I forgot to tell y'all about that. That's one great thing. This is just for sewers. I'm telling you, the bearings on the brush row. So if you y'all can imagine the brush row, a lot of these brush rows, they put pressed on bearings on the end of the brush row and it sits in a little tray on your vacuum cleaner. And y'all probably experienced this at home right now. When you've picked up thread and things, it'll get wound around your brush row and then it starts getting over there in those bearings. And what happens when that starts winding up? It makes the brush row restricted, not roll as well. So then you break belts and you do things like that. The great thing about the David is it has a sealed bearing in it. So the bearings are not pressed on, it's sealed in and no hair, uh, no thread or anything can get into that bearing to cause it. So you'll never have to have any problems with that. And if it just winds around the brush row, all you have to do is get a seam ripper or a little pair of scissors and just go across and cut it and cut it on both sides, turn the vacuum cleaner on and it'll suck it up in the vacuum. It's that easy. So simple to get the thread off. So. No, you don't have to remove the battery to recharge. You can actually, it has a plug right back here. You can actually just, you know, if you plug it in and charge it up. Now, I guess if you wanted to, you could. The battery is real easy to get off. So if you had a place that you just wanted to go, you know, store your vacuum up and just take the battery, you can zoom into that real quick, Roger. Can you see that? It has the charging port right here and the charger, you just plug it in. So you could have a, a separate place. You could have this charged up and then just go grab your battery and throw it on. And what's awesome, if y'all can see that right here, this is, it tells you the battery level. You push that button and it tells you the level of the charge. Can y'all see that okay? So right there, you just push it and it tells you. So right now you can see I'm fully, almost fully charged. And you have it running quite a bit. Yeah, that's the thing about, about this. So guys, I gotta tell y'all uh, a funny thing. Uh, we got this in. And uh, we got it in at the office and uh, Tom sent me one in and I had it in my office and everybody saw it. So I tell you, our corporate office is the cleanest it's ever been because everybody in there was coming and it wanted to, you know, try it. And everybody was vacuuming every all around the office. And I tell you, we probably used it for a week, didn't we, Kyle? Yeah. And never. And and so they were using it a lot and we never charged it that whole time. So everybody would, you know, they didn't vacuum for an hour, but they were going vacuum 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And everybody was vacuuming everywhere. And I mean, we never charged it up. So, and uh, so I finally had to charge it because it finally, I went to use it, it ran out. So, but that just tells you, uh, you know, everybody loves it. I'm telling you, uh, yeah, easy. Unless you've got a, a huge mansion, you can do your house in an hour very easily. So that's what's great about it. You can do your hardwood floors. You can do your area rugs. You can do, now some area rugs, you gotta be careful that it doesn't, you know, grab it, pull it up. If you got the real heavy area rugs, it's gonna vacuum fine. But, you know, some of those, uh, you know, some of the airy rugs that are real lightweight, I know I've got one that you can't vacuum it with anything, it seems like. But, uh, you know, that's the great thing about this. You can vacuum your whole house, all your carpets and, and everything, no problem at all. So it says, wow, that's a great deal. It sure is a great deal, guys. This is $899 for the vacuum. And guys, if you know, and, and here's the thing I, I want to really stress to you. A lot of people think, oh, my gosh, $899 for a vacuum cleaner. They're used to going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to say the names, but big box stores and buying vacuum cleaners for $100, you know, $99, $149, $150, $200. But what's happening, how many, in three years or two years, you're going back and buying another vacuum because exactly. they don't last, right? That's so exactly what I did. Mine broke within six months and I had to buy a new vacuum. So I don't know if y'all can hear Kyle, but Kyle just said as exactly what he did. He said he bought one, his lasted six months. He had to go buy another one. So, Roger? I bought, I bought an Amazon one for my parents, and it lasted about a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's why, you know, I tell people, they call those disposable vacuums. When you buy one that doesn't last long. One thing about when you spend the money to get a really high quality vacuum is basically you're, you're making an investment just like you would your appliance, uh, your washer, dryer, or your refrigerator. 
you're buying something that's going to last. And, and I'm telling you, my experience in, in the, this world of vacuum cleaners is I know people, they'll buy this vacuum cleaner and, and, you know, 10 years from now, they'll still have it. And, you know, they may have to change the battery out eventually, which you can change the battery. If the battery ever goes bad, you can get a new battery for it. So, but it, that's one of the things that uh, it makes a nicer vacuum cleaner worth the money because you're not going to have to go and, and, you know, buy another one in six months, a year, three years or, or whatever. So uh, I think that's one of the things you're getting. Uh, you're getting the next generation. It's a, you know, long life of vacuum. And one of the David vacuums you saw on the intro, Tom's video, it's a T21 and they've been invented it to, to last 21 years. So all that quality is in the whole line of their vacuum cleaners. And today, I mean, the reason we're only showing the, the cordless, because this is my favorite by far because it is cordless. And to me, this is perfect for the sewer quilter at home that just wants to grab one and go in and get the thread off the floor. And, you know, it is so convenient, lightweight. So we got any more questions up there, Kennedy? Pet hair. Pet hair. We want to... Roger, you gonna get me some pad hair out again? Yeah. So Roger's gonna get some pad hair and we're gonna put some pad hair down and show you again. And we'll do this and then guys, we're gonna show you the your Swiffer on steroids. We're gonna show you this Houdini mop and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. And this thing is, is incredible. So Roger's down, he's putting some pad hair down. I'm rubbing it in. Get it in there, Gil. Good trick. All right. He's down here, y'all can see him. He's yeah. putting, all right. That's pretty good, Roger. Okay. Roger's going to get back on the camera and he's going to zoom in down here so y'all can see Roger getting pet hair up, up in my nose. <laughs> my nose is itching now. I breathe some pet hair in. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. So Roger's zooming in right there on the pet hair and y'all can see that. So we're going to go through it, cross it. One pass. Look at that. So that shows you right there. And he didn't just throw the pet hair down. He actually, or the cat hair, he got down and actually rubbed it in the ground and made it like it's Velcro. I'm telling you, y'all know this at home. Uh, it's just like Velcro. I mean, it sticks to the carpet like a Velcro. It sticks to everything like Velcro. So uh, it is hard to get up. And that's one of the things it's important to have really good suction and a great brush roll. And those combinations will get any of those things up like that thread, uh, you know, cat hair, dog hair, all those different things. So any any other questions on the upright or the canister right now? Very impressed. Who is? Everyone's very oh, impressed. Oh, okay. All right. So no more? No, I think. All right. So guys, again, let me remind you, it's $899 for the upright. We are throwing in the $200 canister in today for absolutely free. So give us a call right now at 800-401-8151. Never showed the light. Can we turn on the light? The light? Yeah. You want to zoom in? Yeah. All right. Here's he, Roger wants to show the LED light on it. Y'all ready? I'm going to blind you. All right. Yeah, it's a great LED light on it. So, again, guys, if you're interested in financing, give us a call right now, 800 401 8151. They got some really good financing things at 0% interest for you. And then if you just want to go on the website and check it out, go to smplive.tv. Just go till you see the, the uh, David Upright. Click on it. It'll take you to the product page. You can check out right from there, and you can actually get financing is there as well. If you need any help right there, we have live chat agents standing by on the, on the product page that can help you. But again, guys, we're going to throw this in absolutely free today. Uh, the $200 uh, Firefly canister. And basically that's, you know, your whole cleaning system. But to complete your whole cleaning system, we got a little magic up our sleeves. Mm -hmm. We got the Houdini next. And guys, we're going to show y'all all about that Houdini. And if y'all have any other questions about the upright, you know, make sure you chime in. We'll get them before the end of the show. And then we'll bring Tom in, you know, at the end of the show too. And, and we'll talk a little bit of it. But guys, this is the Houdini. And so you got to see this mess that Roger and Kyle made. We have a wood floor down here and this is baby food smeared all in it. Another thing of baby food, mustard and then ketchup. And then y'all look at the car mat. Can you zoom into that car mat, Roger? Okay, this is Kennedy's truck car mat. Now, Kennedy says, 
Now, y'all got to know Kennedy. Kennedy gets her truck washed every single week. She's got a, a, a pass at this car wash, and she takes it outside, every week. <laughs> well, what happened? We had two inches of rain the last two days here in San Diego. It hadn't rained forever, but we got a nice rain in, and Kennedy went and parked her truck, and when she had to go back to her truck, it had rained. She stepped in a big mud hole, so she got mud on her feet, and naturally, it's on her truck thing. And I, she was talking about it. I said, hold on. Don't clean it. Let me try to clean it with the Houdini. So we're going to try to clean this thing because I know this is going to clean. But guys, what's great about this? And, and let me grab, I'm going to grab the one over here. Is this charged, Kyle? It should have some. Okay. All right. So y'all can already see the, the height on this. It's adjustable one height and you can adjust it to any height you want. So if you want to pull it up to whatever, how tall you are, to, you know, I'm 6'3", guys, and this would easily make me not have to bend down at all. You know, I can do it. But if you're shorter, you can be able to push it all the way down. It has a carrying handle on it, so you can see the carry handle. And then also, it has the switch right here. So let me make sure the main switch is on. So it has a safety switch right in the back. You can see right here. Oh, you can zoom that in, Kai, or, uh, Roger. So it has a safety switch. So you always want to make sure that is on, okay? So that is on. We'll get that on. And then what we're going to do, we have a switch in the handle. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to show, I want to show the vibration. Kennedy, do we have that video that we can show? I want, Kennedy's got a little video animation. Do you have that animation you can show? Yeah, it's on there. Go to the product page. So Kennedy's going to go to our product page real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's going to show it. And I want y'all to see this. This thing, the head vibrates at 4,000 RPM. So 4,000 rotations per minute, basically. And so it's extremely fast. So what this does, if you can show that, go ahead and show that, Kennedy. Look at that, guys. That's what happens when you're using the Houdini. And this is, a, you know, there's other ones on the market right now, but this actually uh, has four times more RPMs than anything on the market. So it is by far a lot superior to that. But guys, this thing's extremely lightweight. It has two of the mop heads that come with it, or the mops. So you have the pads that come with it. They just Velcro to the head. So it's extremely easy to change out. You all can see how the Velcro is. So it's that's extremely easy. And then also you get a second mop pad with it. So you can see right there the mop pad. You get a second one that comes with it. And then what's cool is you get a drip tray. So let's just say that you wanted to clean some of your carpet around the house. You can actually get your, your you could take your mop head and get it completely wet under, you know, in the sink, get it wet, and then just go and spray a little carpet stain remover. If you got a stain on your carpet or something, you can spray that down. And then this just sits on the floor so it doesn't, uh, you get, you know, any, uh, more wetness on the carpet that you need. And the other thing about this, you can actually pour the carpet solution in here and mix with water and just set the Houdini down in it. So that's what we have done today. We're gonna to show you that demonstration with it, but that's what's awesome about this. And then this is rubber. It just folds up and you can store it away. Uh, it doesn't take up any room, but that's really a cool feature that you can do. The other thing that you, you can do, a lot of y'all probably you know heard the term spray and buff. So you've probably had a Swiffer before where you, you know, it has the onboard sprayer or you've actually bought, bought some Bona and just sprayed down and Swift. This uh, is so much better. You don't have to have any work to it. It does all the work for you. Uh, so basically when you turn this thing on, it does all the work for you. So I'm gonna turn this thing on so y'all can hear it. Is this one dead, Kyle? Oh, there it goes. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'll put it up by my mic. So, so it's extremely lightweight, and again, it's going to, it, it's, I mean, you can feel the vibration. It is really going to work, and it's got LED lights on the front of it, too, to light up in, the surface in front of you. So, we're going to do a little demonstration now with this. So, the first thing we want to do, we're going to clean this wood floor, and this is the one I'm going to, or this one right here, Kyle, right? Yes. All right, so we got this one. Now, what we're doing with this, we're going to show you two different ways to clean. This is going to be a dry, dry mop head, and we're going to use some Bona, and we're going to spray the Bona on. Now, guys, this is ketchup, mustard, and two types of baby food. 
Kyle brought the Kyle supplied the baby <laughs> food because y'all know that he had a had a baby. She, uh, yeah, he was telling me that his little girl will be at the high ch or the, the high chair and just slings her food out or knocks the thing off. So anyway, we're going to spray some bone out here. Just a little spray right over this. All right. Y'all saw how much I put out. I didn't put out much at all. So we're going to see how, how well this thing does. And this has been drying for how many days, Kyle? I thought this was the two day old one. I think I need to get some more bona. That thing's dry. Well, it's coming off, but it's slow, Kyle. There it's going. I think it won't have enough stuff out. So y'all know how how hard mustard and, and ketchup is. It is caked on. I think we might need to use the wet one. Yeah, let me get the wet one. I think our dry one is too dry. Set for a while. Yeah, it's 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 caked on. All right, so go, we're gonna get this one. Yeah, now this is different. So this would be like if you wanted a wet mop. We actually put this in the sink and got it wet. There you go. We just didn't have enough. Yeah, your uh, other one was just too dry. So this is doing a really good job. So y'all can probably see that it's coming. I mean, the mustard, mustard is the hardest to get off after it dries. Now here we're, at, we're on the baby food. I mean, that thing is just whipping it right off. This is another cake doing mess, Kyle. Yep. Doing a great job. And a great thing about it is I'm not putting any pressure at all on this. I am just letting it do it do its thing. So guys, I think that's cleaning as it was when it got every bit of that off. Look at that. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get it back in here in the tray in a little bit of the, the, the water, get it good and wet again. Y'all can see the water in there, okay? All right, so we're gonna attempt Kennedy's car mat. <laughs> now guys, we did not rehearse yeah, this at all, <laughs> but I told her, I said, I think it'll do it. And this thing is pretty bad. Oh yeah. Now look at that, Kenny. You're not gonna have to go get it done at the car wash now. <laughs> that did a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, this thing, it cleaned it awesome. I mean, look at that. That's really good. That was 24 hour mud. Dried mud, yes. Now it's not gonna take the wear marks out where you can see her foot well or it, but I'll tell you what, it looks brand new. The carpet will part. All right, I'm gonna let you get a good shot of that, Kyle. All the dirt's off the way. And if we look at the hardwood right next to it. So now we can probably go back with the dry mop and get all the water off. Yep. So that's what would be cool when you're doing mopping around your house. You could use a, a cleaning solution like Bona with water. Uh, you'll get your head, the, the 
the pad damp and then just come back after you do the mopping, put a different, a dry head on, and then come back and it's going to absorb all the water off the floor. I mean, look at that. That stuff is awesome. Do you, oh, your other mats are dirty too? We may have to do that. So guys, I don't know if y'all saw the, you know, get a good shot of that, Roger, if you can too. Um, and zoom in on the floor. Y'all can look at that. Kyle, let's go back to Kyle's camera. And Kyle, look at there. It's a little bit different color. You can see it. Look at that. And then look close up of the car mat. I mean, it really did a good job of getting that car mat clean. So again, guys, can't stress to you enough. Um, you know, if you're in the market for a vacuum cleaner, I mean, I'm telling you, this is the, the set to get. If you want a, a vacuum cleaner and you want a awesome mop, this is a total cleaning solution. Not only can you clean your floors, your hardwood, everything around the house, you got a canister now, you can do all your, you know, edging and things. And now you've got a mop, which is a battery powered electric mop, basically, that is uh, vibrates at 4,000 RPMs. So it's really going to help clean. And that's what's awesome about it. So guys, if you uh, are interested in this, this is a, they make two different models. They make one that has a one hour battery, battery and they make one that has a two hour battery. We've got the two hour battery and it is 279. Um, and we got it right there. You can see it. Great price. 269. I mean, 269. Wow, that's even cheaper. <laughs> Everybody ought to be jumping on that. All right, so I'm getting hoarse. I had to get some water. All right, guys, so again, uh, 269 for the Houdini, and it is going to make mud and debris disappear like magic. <laughs> I love that. All right, so if y'all been interested uh, in getting a really good floor solution to clean and things, I mean, that is a great way to do it, especially get the two uh, mop heads on it. You can, you know, the, the pads, you're going to be able to have one wet, one dry. Uh, you can do a lot of different things. And again, you know, if you've got a spot on your carpet, and let's just say you, you spilled something on your carpet and you haven't been able to get it off, you know, make sure that you, you can go get that, that mop, you know, in hot water, get it hot, use a spot and stain remover on your carpet, and then just put that, that wet, you know, uh, head and go over that spot and it's going to take it up. It's amazing how absorption or how much absorption that those pads have, those cleaning pads. So uh, that's one of those things, man. If you've been in the market for that, guys, get on the phone right now and give us a call at 800-401-8151. And she says, Diane says, does it clean grout? It does clean grout. Now, you're going to have to probably use a grout cleaner uh, to, get, to help get it because sometimes, you know, that grout really gets, uh, you know, dirty. But it's going to help clean the grout. It's going to help clean your floors because of the vibration and that pad. It, it's, it's doing this. It's going to get in there. So you know, uh, you're going to have any kind of floor you have, brick floors, uh, any kind of uh, tile floor. This works great on, and it's also going to work on your wood floors. And then if you need to clean carpets, I'm telling you, this will be a great carpet cleaner if you have need to spot clean. How to clean the pads. <clears throat> How to clean the pads? Extremely easy, guys. Just throw them in the washing machine. Perfect. Just throw them in the washing machine and wash them, and, get, and they'll be coming out clean. And you can let them air dry, or you can even throw them in the dryer. But I would let them air dry if you clean them. And out of the washer, let them air dry, and then they're ready to go to work again. And again, it's just, I mean, it is so much easier than getting a mop out of your closet and, and doing all that mess with the bucket and all that, or, you know, any, even a Swiffer. To me, this is just the, the best thing they've ever come out with. And I can promise you, I'm going to have one of these at my house, uh, along with my new everywhere vacuum cleaner, because I'm super excited about both of them. So, all right, guys, we are going to... Um, Let's show the overlay for the for both machines again. I'm going to remind y'all how y'all can get this. And Kennedy, was there any other questions about anything? No. Okay. All right. So let's uh, y'all see the that one right there. That is the David Everywhere, and it comes with that $200 Firefly canister. And guys, we have some special financing available if you want to finance it and get some monthly payments. Uh, get those low payments. Give us a call at 800-401-8151 uh, to do that. And also, let's show that Houdini. So this that package is $899, and you're getting the $200 canister with it. We've got some free financing. And, guys, we're going to ship this nationwide absolutely free right to your doorstep. Kennedy, if you could put that Houdini up there. 
All right, she's putting Houdini up now. And the Houdini, guys, it's $269. And this is the model that is the, it's going to have the two hour battery with it. So, two hour battery, that means you're going to be able to use this for two hours before the battery runs dead. And that's really great. You should be able to do all your mopping in your kitchen floors, all your hardwoods with that. And again, guys, you can just go buy some Bona and do what they call a spray and mop. You could spray it on your wood floors and go over it. And uh, But again, that is the Houdini. Guys, this thing has an adjustable handle, has the carrying handle on it, uh, and it comes with those two uh, mop heads or the two pads for it, the cleaning pads. And uh, I can't say enough about them, guys. This Both these products are just, or all three, are just really good next generation and so guys don't delay if you've been in the market for the vacuum cleaner now's the time to get on this and do it uh, i can't stress to you enough how nice this is and again i'm going to tell you right now buy this take it home use it if you don't absolutely love it send it back it's that simple just send it back to us if you don't love it because i'm telling you right now you're going to follow up because right now it's no risk to you absolutely no risk to try this and i tell you you're going to throw all your other vacuum cleaners out the door when you get this one all right, guys. Hey, we are going to actually talk to Tom Oric, and Tom is the CEO of David Vacuum Cleaners. And uh, so, y'all, welcome to the show, Tom Oric. Wish he could have been here live with us, but he got sick with the flu, so I'm sure he's going to try to get through it. Hey, Tom. Hey, hello, Blaine. How you doing? Doing good. I can tell. I can hear your voice. You're a little hoarse. <laughs> yeah, just the tail end of the flu, which uh, is no fun for anybody, but. Uh, I'm really, really sorry I didn't wasn't able to get out there uh, be with you, but I'm also really glad that I'm not out there to get you infected either. So that, <laughs> hey, we, that was a good thing. But I have to tell you, we were man. we were all happy, uh, we were all excited about you coming, and uh, <laughs> but now we're all glad you're not here too because we don't want to get sick. But, but I'm glad you're able <laughs> exactly. to come in like this and tell us a little bit about you know how you came up with the the David vacuum cleaner. Sure. Well, first off, I got to tell you that I I really appreciate. Uh, our relationship, you know, Blaine and I have been uh, together, literally been uh, known each other for 25 years and worked together for many, many years. Uh, Blaine actually was part of uh, our our success and uh, a great deal of our success in the previous company at work. And um, but what David is, is essentially uh, in order to honor my father, who is, by the way, just turned 99. So he's still going strong. Uh, in order to honor him, I have created what was the next generation of lightweight, powerful vacuums, which is the David. And it's uh, the David Everywhere, which is the cordless you've been showing, made in America here. And again, very proud of that product. It's full power, runs like crazy, and again, light and easy to use. Uh, it's, it's everything that we've ever learned about how to really make vacuuming easy to use, but yet powerful and and particularly clean hygienic i mean the thing about the bag and this is that the dirt comes out of the carpet goes into the bag and then out of the house and it doesn't blow back into your face doesn't get all over your furniture and, and in your lungs and so it's really really hygienic and that's important to us the firefly which you, you've got as a, a special with with the everywhere is a great little compact canister as you mentioned great for people who are in the so who do sewing because of the micro tools and so on, and they everywhere because again the bearings are sealed, so it's really great when you have when you have those kinds of things that you have to pick up. Pet hair is a breeze, as you as you showed. It's really designed for that. So for pet for pet owners, it's a dream. But the Houdini, the one thing I did want to mention to you about the Houdini as well is that you know someone asked about grout, and the Houdini and the Houdini that pad comes up and is velcroed onto the sides of the unit in addition to the bottom. So that you can, and with that extra handle, you can you can tilt it and get into a corner, get into the grout, uh, into the grout lines, and so forth. And the thing that I love about Houdini, uh, the the sonic vibration that you are mentioning, is really the thing that's so great to me. Is that, you know when you think about brushing your teeth, everybody knows that you brush your teeth to keep your teeth clean, but also everybody knows that if you use a sonic toothbrush, it cleans better. Well, it's really the same thing. You can use something that is static on your floor and, and get it clean eventually. But with when you have the sonic vibration, it helps to really dislodge all of that, all of that embedded uh, dirt. Or when you have things baked on, as you showed, makes it much easier to get get that up. Great unit. It's a it's frankly brand new in the industry. Really excited about it. But the main thing I think, Blaine, is we're really excited. I'm excited, frankly, to be back uh, doing doing things with you. 
You have done an amazing job, and I'm very excited for you. And uh, and frankly, the David vacuum, uh, I'm excited to have it out there. Is the next generation of uh, products that are light, easy to use, powerful, and really hygienic. Really good, you know, good for good for your breathing as well as as well as for your floors. Well, hey, Tom, uh, I tell you, everybody in our, our corporate office was super excited about that. They, they all were fighting over to see who, who could vacuum their cubicles and, and the floor. And we actually ran the battery down, and, but it lasted a whole week over there. They were, you know, everybody was grabbing it for 10 minutes, five minutes here and there. And, and, uh, but everybody loves it. And I tell you, I do too. And as you know, you know, I've got a long history of vacuum cleaners. And, you know, this is by far the probably the only vacuum cleaner that's had me excited in a long, long, long time because I well, just- Well, that's great. I mean, you know, it's it, it, the thing too, Blaine, and I think you all mentioned it, it's not a throwaway. This is designed to last, this may be the last vacuum cleaner you ever have to buy. And the truth of the matter is that it, it essentially will run as well in five years or 10 years as it runs today, particularly if you just do, you know, with your, your routine maintenance, you know, the, the routine tune-up and so on. But it is designed to last, built to last, and the everywhere is built here and really proud of that. Yeah, we are too. And a lot of people already commented about, you know, Tom, about it being made in the USA. We're super excited about, you know, that as well. And, you know, what's cool about it when you have something like that, that you can have the big flag on uh, that gives you a sense of pride. And I know that you're proud of this. And, and I love the story that you told me about, you know, the, the very first two vacuums that came off the line. Oh, Every right. worker that worked on that signed that, autographed it, and you gave that to your dad. Yes, I did. And he was, he was really uh, moved by that. But I think uh, and this is the everywhere because that, that's the one that is made here in the U.S. And what we did is, as you said, every, every employee who touched the vacuum as it was manufactured from injection molding to assembly, you name it, signed it and sent it to, to him uh, just to honor him. And I was really very pleased with that. So that, that, was, that was great to see. Well, that's awesome. Well, Tom, thank you so much for coming on our show. I know you're sick and I wish you could have been here. And I, I know your your voice is, is, it's hard for you to talk, but I know everybody is really excited to get to see you on, on, on the show. And and I wish you could have been here, but you know, we may do and, and overcame and, and all that, but I know there are gonna be more times that we're gonna be on and we're looking forward to a great relationship with, with you and the David product. Well, uh, Blaine, I am too. And I, will tell, I promise you the next time we do this, uh, we'll be there and uh, arm in arm. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Tom. I hope you get well. Thanks. Thanks. Take care, buddy. All righty. All right, guys. I got to remind you all again about these products. If you are been interested, if you've been needing a vacuum, now's the time to do it. I tell you, you know, this is an American-made David vacuums, David products, uh, and you've heard Tom's story. Uh, you know, this is that that upright is so awesome. Again, guys, it's $899. You're going to get that free $200 compact canister with it. We're going to throw in absolutely free. We're going to ship it to you nationwide, right to your door for free. And then we also have financing available. So, you know, if that $899 price point uh, is a little high for and you want to make some low monthly payments, we got financing available. So give us a call at 800-401-8151. And if you've been in a, a market for a new way to mop your floors, I'm telling you the Houdini is the way to go. This is $269, guys. This thing's extremely lightweight, has the adjustable handle. Uh, you know, it has that sonic cleaning as Tom mentioned, and I loved his analogy about brushing your teeth. You know, how many of y'all out there brush your teeth with just a regular toothbrush now? And then how many of y'all have upgraded your toothbrush to a sonic clean, something that has vibration? It does such a better job cleaning your teeth. And that's exactly what Tom was talking about. This is the same way about cleaning your floors. And I love the, the, the tip he gave, if you wanted to get a really good job cleaning your grout, that's what that other handle's there for. You can turn it up on its edge and get that edge right in there on the grout with that vibration, and it's really gonna help clean. So a great tip that Tom gave. And again, guys, the chargers come with the, the upright, the charger's gonna come with the Houdini when you buy them. But again, guys, both models are just uh, awesome. I, I'm really excited about these. We hope that you are. And again, guys, there are limited numbers coming in. T tomorrow, they're coming in. Uh, and we're going to ship them right out to you. So there's limited numbers. Make sure if you're wanting to get a new vacuum, go ahead and do it now. We're making it easy for you with the financing. So there you go, guys. All right. So I hope y'all enjoy that. And now it is giveaway time, Kennedy. So I hope y'all have been chatting in and, and uh, 
everything. And I hope I answered everybody's questions. If you do have a question about the either one of these models, if y'all could stop your chat for just a second and then let anybody who has a question about one of the vacuums go ahead and, and ask right now, I'll try to answer that and then we'll start giving some stuff away. So Kennedy, is there anything, anybody uh, asking anything? All right. So we're giving y'all a little bit of time if you have any last minute questions you want to ask. And again, guys, if y'all have questions, you know, for you think of just a little bit later, go ahead and you can call our 800 number at 800-401-8151 or you just go to uh, smplive.tv and the products are on there. You can just click on it. It'll take you right to the product page. We have a couple videos on there. Kind of, you know, shows you the, you know, has Tom talking about the story of the vacuum that you saw earlier uh, in the show. And then also on the Houdini page, it shows that, you know, that vibration of that head and it's where you can actually see that 4,000 RPMs. So what was the question, Roger? Uh, you can, we don't really have a package, but you could pair them up together and finance the whole thing if you wanted to. So just give us a call and they can work that out for you. So yeah, call us at 800-401-8151. Nick's team is all standing by over there and they can put a package together for you. So I would highly recommend that too, because then you got the total cleaning system for your house. Uh, not only a great vacuum cleaner, a great canister, and then you're gonna have that fantastic, uh, you know, cordless mop. You just, the pads are so easy with the Houdini. You just take them, when, once you get them dirty, just put them in the washing machine and wash them. And then once they're washed, you can just basically let them air dry. That's what I do. I mean, you could put them in the dryer, but I'd be afraid sometimes you have lints and stuff flakes off and gets your your screen clogged up. I would just let them air dry after that. And then you're, once they dry, you're ready to go again. But that's super easy to clean like that. Can you fill the bags to the pretty, uh can you fill the bags pretty full without losing suction? Yes, that's one good thing about a top fill bag. So if y'all can imagine, can you bring me that bag real quick, Kyle? I'll show y'all. Kyle's going to bring me the, the upright bag for it, and I'll show y'all real quick. There we go. All right, so this is the bag. This is the upright bag. So y'all can see how big this thing is, okay? So here's where the, the dirt is all going in the tube right here. So I've got this thing. Well, it's... it's uh, there we go. All right, so y'all can see the hole right there. That's So when you pull the bag off, it actually seals itself so it doesn't let dirt out. But this is where all the dirt's going in, and y'all can see how much space there is all the way down. So what that does, that's actually gonna, you could, it's not gonna lose suction until it fills up to the complete neck. So you're gonna have, you can fill this whole bag up. And one thing about it, you're gonna be, when you have that much dirt in a vacuum cleaner, it makes your vacuum cleaner a lot heavier. So you're gonna know like, oh my gosh, I need to change the bag. So that's one of the things you're gonna you're gonna recognize really quick, uh, just from the weight of the vacuum cleaner that you just want to get a you know new bag in it. Bags are cheap, and I just tell people you know keep keep a clean bag in there as much as you can. Uh, that way it's it's never it's always going to be lightweight, and then you're getting that dirt, not storing the dirt in there. Especially if you have uh, you know pets where you're getting a lot of dog hair and cat hair in here. Uh, you know, I would change the bag out probably, you know, every couple of weeks just so it doesn't stink up the house and make the, the bag stink and all that. Because, so you know, y'all probably smelt your vacuum now. You turn it on if you've got pet hair and you smell that kind of musty smell. <laughs> oh, that's why, because of that hair in there. So that's that's one good tip on there. But yeah, that was a great question. It, you, you got a huge bag area with this, you know, that you can fill up. All right. So what, any other questions, Roger? Be a great Chris. I don't know. I got a feeling if I bought Michelle a new vacuum for Christmas, I might be in the. I might be sleeping with our pets. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, yeah, guys out there, don't buy your va your wife a vacuum for Christmas or birthday. Just surprise her with it as just a. You know what, honey? It was just a. I just. Yeah, just, you know, just uh, surprise her with it and just say, honey, just because I, I was thinking of you. That's the way to do it. But yeah, I don't, don't buy it for a birthday or Christmas. There you go. Good tip. Or Valentine's Day. <laughs> Roger, I still got cat hair in my nose. <laughs> Roger had cat hair flying up everywhere in the studio in here. All right, so guys, any, any last minute questions? We're going to go ahead and start doing some giveaways. We're good. All right, so guys, 
First thing we're gonna do right now, we're gonna give away some of our event bags and y'all know these bags, you can buy them on our website. They're, they're eight different colors, eight different sayings on them. Uh, they're $49.99 for the pack or you can get them $9.99 each. We're gonna give two lucky viewers a whole pack of eight. So Kennedy, do you have your wheel all ready to go? Kennedy, spin that wheel. Renee McFarland is our winner. She's watching today from YouTube. So congratulations, Renee. Renee, how are you gonna claim your prize? You're gonna to go to smplive.tv. You're gonna scroll down toward the bottom of that page and where it says claim your prize, you're gonna fill out that information, uh, hit submit, and we'll handle it from there. All right, Kennedy, get ready to spin that wheel again. We're gonna get a, another bag set away. So Kennedy, spin that wheel. Beth Small. So congratulations, Beth. Beth is watching today from YouTube as well. So Beth, you won yourself a, a set of bags. Make sure to go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim your prize, fill out the information, hit submit, and we'll handle it from there. Hey, I gotta say a shout out to uh, Kennedy, uh, to uh, Carol Ironman. I just saw her name up there. Carol I Ironman is an old friend of mine. And uh, she we go way back, she's watching today. So hey, hey, Carol, glad you're watching. And uh, she's real good friends with Tom. And um, I think they've known each other since they were teenagers. She said, hi, oh, well, good. All right, so guys, up next, we are gonna give one of our, our world famous sewing mats away. And uh, guys, these sewing mats, everybody loves these things. If you do not have a sewing mat yet, raise your hand. Just raise it anyway, if I can't say you, go ahead and raise your hand if you don't have a sewing mat at home under your machine right now. You need a mat. You're doing that. Your your pretty little machine a disservice by not having one of those because these things are very useful, guys. Not only do they look good, but they reduce the the vibration uh, to, from your machine to all the electronics that in there. And you know nowadays, guys, these are high tech machines. They're expensive. You spend a lot of money. Why not protect it? The other thing it does, it dampens the sound from that machine. It makes you know sound dampening. It protects the surface you have it sitting on. So if you wanted to put it on your kitchen table or your counter, it's gonna sit up there. And then the fourth thing it does, it doesn't let the machine move around. It When you put that, uh, whatever surface you put that mat on, it grips it, it will not move. And then the machine will grip the top of that mat. So it works four really good things for you. But guys, we're gonna give somebody, lucky viewer, a blueberry mat, a brand new color we have. We're gonna give two people a blueberry mat in any size that you want. So Kennedy, spin that wheel. And that blueberry is a kind of a between the purple and a blue, the brother blue. It's kind of between it. Yeah. All right, so we're spinning it. Here we go. Doris Anderson. Doris is watching today from Facebook. So congratulations, Doris. You just won yourself a blueberry sewing mat. So Doris, we need you to go to smplive.tv scroll down toward the bottom where it says claim your prize and then just you know in that put your information let us know what size of that blueberry mat you want and if you want to see all the dimensions of the sizes just go to smplive.tv click on the sew mat it'll take you to that page and you can look and see what the dimensions are of each size so it fits your machine all right we're gonna give one more of these blueberry mats away so kennedy spin that wheel Corinne Marie McLaughlin. That's a mouthful. So Corinne, congratulations. She's watching today from Facebook. And so Corinne, we need you to go to smplive.tv. She doesn't have a mat. So Corinne, you are, are a proud owner of a new blueberry mat now to put on your machine. And now since she's winning one, she will probably buy a, a second one to put under her other machine. Everybody does, because they love them so much. But so Corinne, just go to uh, smplive.tv, uh, you know, click on the mats that you see there. It'll take you to that product page, figure out what size you want, and then go down where it says claim your prize, fill out that information, uh, put what size you want, and then we'll send you whatever size you want in that blueberry mat. Brand new color we just came out with, guys. And matter of fact, we don't even have them on the product page. You can't even buy these. These are a new color just for giveaways. 
So you have to get a giveaway to get one of these. So uh, anyway, we uh, what are we giving away next, Kennedy? Okay, that'll work. So we're gonna give a $100 gift certificate away. And guys, if you are local in Southern California, you can actually use this in both of our retail stores. We have a retail store down in San Diego on Mission Bay Boulevard. We also have one up in San Marcos, uh, California, and it's actually in the Nordau Walmart Center. Uh, you can see it right beside the 78 freeway. Uh, you can go in there. And if you're, if you're nationwide somewhere else, do not worry. You can still use it online in the checkout. When you get ready to check out for your purchase, you can use it. And Kai will send you a code that you can use. So uh, Kennedy, spin that wheel. You win it today, you could actually use it on your new uh, David backing. Rose Elson. Rose Elson, watching today from YouTube. So congratulations, Rose. Uh, you just won yourself a $100 gift certificate. So Rose, all we need you to do is go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom where it says claim your prize, just fill out the information, and then Kyle will uh, make sure that he emails you that, that uh, gift certificate code to use. All right, next up, we are gonna give our winner from last week's show, we have an Encore 260A sewing machine with the extension table. And uh, we had our winner from last week's show that was the after show, we called it, the after the second chance winning. And so, Kennedy, do you have that name pulled up? All right. All right, so while Kennedy's finding that name, that who won from last week, Got to talk a little bit about next week's show. So Kennedy, uh, on Tuesday of next week, has Takeover Tuesday. She's going to have Quilters Paradise on. Guys, you all don't want to miss this. It's all about quilting, and uh, she'll be on there. It's going to be at 10 a.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Central Time. And then Thursday, I am going to have uh, my show back here on Thursday next week. I am going to have Stay Perfect two-tiered table that we're going to have. It's electric lift table. Guys, this thing is, is really cool. You're gonna have to check this out, how it works. And we've got Deb Donovan who's gonna be in the studio and gonna show us how to demonstrate that and how it works uh, together. Uh, it is really cool and we're super proud of this. This is made exclusively for Sewing Machines Plus. So you don't wanna miss that Stay Perfect table and you never know what other cool goodies we may have. All right, Kennedy, you found that name? Yeah. All right, so Kennedy found the name. So Kennedy put the name up who won the machine from last week. And it is Bertha Joseph, Berta, Berta Joseph. So Berta, congratulations. Uh, go to our uh, smplive.tv page, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim your prize. And uh, Berta, uh, make sure you fill out the information completely and then we'll get your machine shipped out to you as soon as we get it. And guys, we are throwing in that extension table with the 260A as well. So that is a really cool thing. Guys, this is another machine that is made exclusively for Sewing Machines Plus. You can't get this anywhere else. The Encore is our brand. All right, so we are gonna give another Encore away for today's drawing. And guys, we are going to draw somebody who's watching the show live today are gonna to win this one. So Kennedy, you have that wheel ready to go. All right, so Kennedy's getting ready to spin that wheel. Y'all get ready and we're gonna have a new winner from today's show. All right, here's it goes. Debbie Shaw. Debbie Shaw. So congratulations, Debbie. Debbie is watching today from Facebook. You just won yourself a 260A Encore sewing machine with the extension table. And so congratulations on that. So Debbie, just go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where it says claim your prize, fill out that information, hit submit. And as soon as we get that information, we'll ship out your new machine. So congratulations to all of our winners today. And guys, thank y'all so much for joining the show. I gotta uh, say another big thank you to Tom Oric uh, for coming on the show today. I uh, wish he could have been here live and, and, and did the demonstrations, but I hope I did the demonstrations justice. I was a little rusty on my vacuum skills, <laughs> but uh, we got through it guys. And, and I tell you, I was impressed by just how well this thing cleaned, but it's just me using it. It was pretty awesome uh, with the cat hair and the Rice Krispies and 
So y'all actually got to officially see Rice Krispies dance on the show today. So the guys, we sure do appreciate that y'all showed up in, in uh, today and, and stayed around. And again, guys, remember if your second chance drawing uh, after the show ends, you can go back later on, you know, give it about an hour or so and it posts the video. Uh, go and make comments under there. Tell us how well you like the show today and you'll have a chance to win that second chance drawing and we'll give that, announce that winner next week. And again, guys, if you haven't, you know, liked our Facebook page, go like it right now. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, go subscribe, uh, share the video guys and always make comments and it always helps us and it helps you win. So guys, hope you have a great rest of your week and a great weekend because I'm celebrating Michelle's birthday this weekend. So it's a birthday weekend for my wife, Michelle. So we're going to celebrate that. So we will see y'all next Thursday. Have a great day.